In this video, we're going to build a combinational logic circuit in Multisim and learn how to use Multisim to create a truth table to describe the inputs and the outputs to that circuit. So the first thing that we need is an inverter. So you want to start by going to Place, Component. Remember that all of our digital components are going to be found within the TTL group. So if you don't already have that group selected, you'll do TTL. And the part number for an inverter is 7404. So you'll want to type that in, and the inverter will come up. Now when you double click the inverter, a box comes up. And this box represents each of the inverters that are located within one 7404 chip. So when we talked about pin diagrams previously, you can see on the pin diagram for a 7404 that there are six inverters. Well, Multisim gives you a way to decide which of those inverters you want to access. And Multisim just calls them inverters A, B, C, D, E, and F. So whenever you're building a circuit, you'll want to be cognizant of the fact that you have six inverters on one chip and you can use any of those. So we're going to just use the first inverter, which would be inverter A, on this chip. So we're going to click A and place your inverter on the schematic. Next, this box pops up again. Notice that now you see it says U1 and new. U1 is called a reference designator. It's just like a label or a name, and it references the inverter that you're already using. So it's asking you, if you want another inverter, do you want to use the second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth inverter on the chip you already have, or use a completely new chip? So in general, we want to be efficient and use every single inverter on the first chip before we would go on to selecting a brand new chip. So in this case, we don't need a second inverter at all, so I'm going to hit cancel. The other thing we need is a 7408, the AND gate. So go back to your uh, component database and select the 7408 component. Notice the box pops up again. Since we don't have any AND gates at all, we're going to select the new and we're going to select A for the first gate on that chip. And for this circuit, I actually need two AND gates. So when the po box pops up again, I'm going to select AND gate B on the chip I already have, which is called U2. I don't need a whole new chip because I haven't used all the AND gates available to me on the first chip. I have four gates per chip and I've only used one so far. So I don't need a new chip. I'm just going to use AND gate B on the chip I already have. And when you're done, hit cancel and close. Notice now that I have two AND gates, and one of them is called U2A and U2B. The U2 is the same for both of these. That tells me that these are the same chip. And notice that the part number is also at the bottom, confirming that they have to be the same chip. The next thing I'm going to add is something called a logic converter, and you're going to find that on the far right side of your screen. It's called a logic converter. If you hover over each icon, eventually you'll find it, logic converter. Click that and bring that to the top corner of your screen. A logic converter is a very simple tool that you can use to get a truth table for any combinational logic circuit. So what you're going to do is connect your inputs to each one of these pins. So for example, I'm going to call this input A and connect it there. I'm going to call this input B and connect it there. And I'm going to call this input C and connect it there. And in order to remember that, I'm actually going to go to place, text, and put a little text box here just so that I can remind myself that that is input A. You can control C and control V Call that input B. Control C, control V, copy and paste. And input C. So now I have my three inputs labeled. And each one of the inputs is going to go to one of the pins on the logic converter. Now for this circuit, the output of the first AND gate becomes an input to the next and the output of the inverter is the second input. 
And then the output of the AND gate is our final output for the circuit. The output of the AND gate is also going to be connected to the logic converter. It's very important that you only connect it to the far right pin. None of these other pins. These are all reserved for inputs. The last one is reserved for an output. And we want the output of this AND gate right here. So the output is going to go right there. Now I want you to double click the logic converter. Double click it and a box will pop up. When that box pops up, you're going to hit the button right under the word conversions and a truth table comes up. Notice right here you have input A, input B, and input C and that truth table looks just like the one we did in our examples. 1011 all the way down, 2021s, 4041s, and this right here is your output. So this tells you what you expect to get out for each input combination. So we can see that with this circuit, there's only one time we expect our LED to be on, and that's when input A is one, input B is one, and input C is zero. And that's the logic converter. That's how you can create a truth table for any digital circuit that you want. Simply set up your circuit, connect the input starting with the left, and use one pin at a time, and then the outputs connect to the far right. One more thing I'm going to show you is how to add pin numbers to your diagram within Multisim. Double click the AND gate, go to display, use component specific visibility settings, show package pin names. When you do that, it now gives you pin numbers. So I know that pin 1 and pin 2 are the inputs. Remember, on the breadboard, inputs are switches. And pin 3 is an output. I'm going to do this for the other two chips. And now I have pin numbers on my schematic. So when I wire this on the breadboard, this will tell me a little bit about where my wires are supposed to go. Again, pins 1 and 2 for the AND gate are inputs. Those are going to come directly from a switch. Pin 1 on my inverter is also going to come directly from a switch. Then I can see that pin 3 of the AND gate is going to be wired to pin 4 of the AND gate. And I can see that pin 2 of the NOT gate is going to be wired to pin 5 of the AND gate. And pin 6 is the output. So that will be connected directly to an LED. <coughs> So that's a quick introduction of how to build a combinational logic circuit in Multisim. Next, we're going to move on to another video which will show you how to build this circuit on the breadboard.